ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له فمن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم فقهنا في الدين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته we have learned about the conditions on acting upon which the kalama la ilaha illallah is accepted by allah subhanahu wa taala In the last class we learned two conditions knowledge and certainty merely saying la ilaha illallah with the tongue is not enough there are some conditions which has to be fulfilled when these conditions are not met then stated the kalima la ilaha illallah stating the kalima la ilaha illallah will not be accepted so let's see uh, we have learned about the first two conditions that is ilm and yaqeen ilm means knowledge yaqeen is certainty ilm uh, let's see some revision of this ilm means we should have the knowledge of the kalama its words its meanings and its requirements then we should have certainty in it that means believing firmly upon the meaning of la ilaha illallah without having any doubt in it So what is the meaning of la ilaha illallah there is no god worthy of worship except allah subhanahu wa taala the only true god who is the only true god who is worthy of worship that is allah subhanahu wa taala today we will learn the third condition this is qabul acceptance the opposite of acceptance is denial the proof of this is from the quran In Surah Safat, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Inna hum kano idha qila lhum la ilaha illa Allah yastakbirun." Indeed, they, when it was said to them, "There is no deity but Allah," were arrogant. Means they denied, they were proud, and they did not believe. Why did they not believe? They are told that there is no god worthy of worship but Allah alone. they did not believe because they did not want to leave their false deities their idols that's why they did not believe and they did not accept the sentence of tauhid let's see this from an example abu talib was the uncle of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was a very good supporter of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam on many occasions he helped prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but he had not accepted islam even when he knew that this religion which the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has bought is the true religion instead of knowing also he did not accept it there is a narration in sahih al bukhari when abu talib on his was on his deathbed prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was near him and abdullah bin abu umayyah and abu jahal they were also sitting with him Our kind Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to him, said to Abu Talib, "Dear uncle, please say the sentence La ilaha illallah." So, because of this sentence, I will have a proof for you in front of Allah subhanahu wa taala. And they both Abdullah bin Abi Umayyah and Abu Jahl they said to Abu Talib, "Will you leave the religion of Abdul Muttalib?" the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam repeated again and even these two people who were sitting they also said the same thing will you relieve that like that finally abu talib said i am on the religion of abdul muttalib and he did not utter the kalima la ilaha illallah and he denied it saying it means denied saying it till the end the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanted that abu talib accept this kalima and accept islam but abu talib did not accept he denied then our pro- kind prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said 
Till I am not asked to stop, I will constantly pray to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala for your forgiveness. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to grant forgiveness to Abu Talib, to grant him maghfira. But later, this dua also did not benefit him. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala revealed in the Quran in Surah Tawbah that Ma kaan lil Nabiyyi. والذين آمنوا أن يستغفروا للمشركين ولو كانوا أولي قربا. It is not for the peep, for the prophet and those who have believed to ask forgiveness for the polytheists, even if they were relatives. From this verse of the Holy Quran, we come to know that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has not allowed the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the believers. to ask for forgiveness for the disbelievers so abu talib who was a big supporter of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who who supported him many times but instead of doing that good also he denied the kalima so even prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam's dua for his forgiveness did not help him So from all this, we come to know that we should have the knowledge and certainty of this sentence, La ilaha illallah, and we should accept it as well with our tongue and with our heart. The fourth condition is in qiyad submission. The opposite of submission is rejection. In qiyad means to submit, to follow. an opposite of submission is rejection or um, abandonment or disobedience so what does this mean to submit or to follow it means that like if a child does his homework given by his teacher but he he has the fear of the teacher maybe the teacher will scold him will give him a spanking like that due to that fear he completes his homework he has done submission but this is not inqiyad inqiyad is to follow and to submit to the will of allah subhanahu wa taala to the command of allah subhanahu wa taala with love so we'll see an example prophet ibrahim alayhi salam was shown in a dream that he was sacrificing ismail alayhi salam his son so what did ibrahim alayhi salam do he a prophet's dreams is like true it's a, it's like a kind of revelation only it's a command so what did ibrahim alayhi salam do he submitted to the command of allah subhanahu wa taala he went to sacrifice ismail alayhi salam but allah subhanahu wa taala sent a sheep in his place So this shows us the submission of Ibrahim alayhi salam. He submitted to the command as it is. He did not think, "How can I sacrifice a human life? How can I do this? This is is this? How can this be a command?" He just did not think anything. He just did not use his own intellect regarding that. He he said, "Oh, this command is given to Allah, given by Allah subhanahu wa taala." and he just followed it as it is so this is inqiyad when we say la ilaha illallah then we have to submit to all the commands of allah subhanahu wa taala we should obey and follow the commands as they are given to us as it is Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says in Surah Luqman ayah number 22 Wa may yuslim wajhahu ila Allah wa huwa muhsinun faqad istamsaka bil urwati al wusqa wa ila Allah aqibatu al umur and whoever submits his face to Allah Ta'ala when he is a doer of good then he has grasped the most trustworthy handhold and to Allah will be the outcome of all matters So from this ayah we know that we have to submit to the will of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala completely. This is inqiyad. So we have to remember two things here. 
انقیاد اس کمپلیٹ سبمیشن تو اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ ہول ہارٹیڈلی وتھ دا لو آف اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ فار ایگزامپل اللہ تعالیٰ ٹولڈ اس ٹو پرے فائیو ٹائمس ہی ایز کمانڈیڈ از دس بٹ اف وی سی دیٹ فور ٹائمس وی کین پرے بٹ وی کین پرے فجر پریئر ڈا پریئر بفور ڈون سو وی ول لیو اٹ وی کین ڈو دس دس مینس وی آر ڈینائنگ دا کمانڈ سو انقیاد مینس اینی کمانڈ وچ از گیون ان دا ہولی قرآن اور وچ از گیون فرام دا احدیث ٹو اس وی کین ڈینائی دیٹ وی ہیو ٹو ایکسیپٹ اٹ اینڈ سبمٹ اٹ اینڈ فالو اٹ ون پوائنٹ ٹو ریمبر از دیر از اے پرسن ہو بلیو دیٹ زکات از آبلیگیٹری اپون ہم اینڈ آلسو بلیو دیٹ انٹرسٹ از وچ از ٹو دیٹ از فوبیڈن اینڈ تھیفٹ از پروہیبیٹیڈ اینڈ بیک بیٹنگ از پروہیبیٹیڈ ہی نوز آل دس اینڈ بلیو ان آل دس بٹ انسٹیڈ آف نوئنگ اینڈ بلیونگ آلسو سم ٹائمس بائی مسٹیک or due to some plot of the devil he uh, he robs someone he tells lies he backbites then this person has sinned and he is a sinner but still he is in the fold of islam he is a muslim he is not a disbeliever so whenever a person sins he or she should immediately repent to allah subhanahu wa taala and not repeat that mistake again but if that person has done a major sin on which punishment is to be given according to the islamic law then that punishment should be imposed on him on him for example the punishment of a thief is to cut his hands so that punishment should be imposed on the thief but this should not be done by the people general people or as this should be done by the government so the gist of the matter is the opposite of submission is disobedience so what allah subhanahu wa taala has forbidden upon us we can't make it lawful for us for example music is forbidden and this is proven from the hadith but if someone says i don't believe in this uh, then this is the opposite of inqiyad this is disobedience allah subhanahu wa taala gave us a command then that command is the is from the religion of islam so If a person denies the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then merely saying la ilaha illallah will not be of any benefit to him. So in today's class we have learned that there are four conditions of, the, the four conditions, there are seven actually, but we learned the four conditions. They are ilm, yaqeen, qabool and inqiyad. Ilm is knowledge, yaqeen is certainty, qabool is acceptance and inqiyad is submission. so having knowledge of this kalima with certainty is a requirement and accepting it by our tongue and by our heart that this is also a requirement the next step is to practice on this kalima and this is the requirement too that's all for today's class subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh